generates two player built-in skills to this trade skill as a bonus. So, for example, uh, you know, if this was an alchemy type trade skill, I could I could include the craft alchemy trade skill from Neverwinter Nights 2 to act as a bonus. So any points that a player puts in here would be bonus points. Um, however, in this example, we don't really have a good uh, skill map for mining, so we're just going to leave that one blank. Uh, attributes. Uh, this is the same th idea. Any bonus modifiers um, from an attribute will be applied to this. So we're going to say strength. So if I have a good strength, it'll act as a bonus to my mining. Of course, be careful because if a player has a bad strength, uh, it'll act as a penalty in their mining. This is a harvest type trade skill, so I want to make sure I have that checked on. Um, mining is uh, us going out with a pickaxe and uh, you know grabbing some ore, so it is a harvesting type trade skill. The next three sections, preferred classes, uh, races, and feats, these all act as bonuses uh, to this trade skill as well. So if a player has a particular class, um, we can add it as a bonus. If a player ha has a particular race, we can add it as a bonus. Or a particular feat, we can add them as a bonus. So for this example, we're going to say that dwarves are actually pretty good at mining. So we're going to go click that over here, and now we get to actually select the bonus value. So I'm going to say that dwarves get a plus two bonus. And we're going to say gnomes get a plus two bonus too, just because, just for demonstration purposes. So this is where you get to set up your your bonuses for things. Um, some worlds may have may want to apply feats as bonuses, and, and again, you can type in the value. So you know if you uh, have a mining feat that's a custom configured for your world in a hack pack you can say you know what that mining feat gives me a plus five bonus to my mining trade skill for this so you get to choose what you want so this is it our mining trade skill is now created and we can hit finish and it's now in the system ready to go and ready to be used the next thing you know we would obviously need is some kind of harvesting resource we actually have to have something in game that we can go and click on to be able to do that and they usually come in the form of placeable objects so we'll we're going to need ourselves a, a placeable object to actually harvest and we can do that again with this tool by going new harvest resource because that's what we want now each trade skill could have many resources you know in this mining example we could have copper silver gold you know, uh, numerous kinds of uh, of resources at varying levels. So what we're going to do is we're going to, just for the demonstration purposes, we're going to create a brand new resource here called Silver or Vein. And of course we're going to apply it to a trade skill. The only one we have configured in the system right now is Mining, so let's select that. Animation. Uh, animations are kind of hit and miss right now. Um, it's just a cosmetic thing, so you can choose either bash or bend over. It, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I would I would just not concern myself too much about animations or, or lose any sleep over that one. Minimum skill and maximum skill. This is where you set up how difficult this particular uh, resource is going to be uh, for a player. Basically what level it's going to be, how hard it's going to be. And that's where that Excel spreadsheet can come in handy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a quick look at the Excel spreadsheet here, and this is also um, documented in the uh, in the uh, in the in the manual. So as you can see here, we've got several levels of difficulty, all the way up to ten, because each trade skill can have uh, level one to ten. And a standard level one uh, difficulty is going to have a minimum value, which is the red, to the maximum value, which is the green, of one to twenty. Okay. The blue number represents um, how, what percentage chance a player has to succeed per skill point that they have. The gray is an actual percentage chance based on their skill level, and the black is how uh, is the percentage chance they have to learn. So if I put in here a player with five skill, what happens is is a player with five skill. Uh, has a 25% chance to succeed on anything that has a difficulty of 1 to 20. Okay. Now when we were creating our mining trade skill we said that dwarves had a plus 2 bonus. So if you remember our, when, we when we did our configuration the current skill we left, uh, or sorry, the starting points we set to 5. Dwarves get a plus 2 bonus so a dwarf with a mining skill could start at 7. They'll start life at 7. So any dwarf 
um, that has mining in, in our example that goes and attempts to mine a placeable object with a difficulty between 1 and 20 would start life with a 35 percent chance to succeed they'll also have a 40 percent chance uh, to learn uh, based on our defaults that we chose before so this is this is how this works now I don't have to have all my placeable objects fall into each level. I don't have to say level 1 placeable objects are 1 to 20 or level 1 crafting are 1 to 20. I can actually use a variety of numbers here and that's what this custom range row is for. So if I have a dwarf uh, who's mining and I want to have another level 1 placeable object uh, available as a resource but I don't want it to be as easy as um, a 1 to 20 I can put in a custom one that has say like 4 to 22 or something like that and this will tell me this spreadsheet will tell me what kind of percentage chances they have uh, of being able to succeed so as you can see here if I come back to my harvest resource if I put in uh, 1 to 20 on this silver ore vein my dwarf who comes along with a 7 uh, skill will have a 35 percent chance of uh, of successfully harvesting however if I change this to 4 to 22 like so uh, when a dwarf comes along to try and harvest this one they're gonna have a 21.05 chance uh, of success so as you can see here you can you, you, you don't have to specify like I could have just as easily change these min maxes to just level 1 to 10 but you're kinda you're kind of jailed into a difficulty with this method now you have the ability to have level 1 resources uh, that have a variety of difficulties inside each level so your 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 opportunities to have many more difficulties of of harvesting or crafting has just opened up you know exponentially you can have tons of different uh, different difficulties now I can have a uh, several level one play uh, resources or several several level one items now for crafting that can have uh, that can be harder or easier than others so we'll see that a little bit more as we progress for this example we're just gonna leave this at uh, 1 to 20 um, minimum strength this is um, the minimum number of times I can actually use this resource um, before it um, before before it'll expire before it's you know considered mined out in this example for mining so if I uh, put in uh, three here that means I can use this three make three attempts on this at least max strength is the other side of that where you know after I hit this five times at a maximum it's going to despawn and go away and it's up to my spawning system whichever spawning system I'm using to respawn it later so I can use this particular silver ore vein between three and five times before it goes away minimum product quantity this is essentially uh, how much of a product I'm going to get when I'm successfully uh, successful in, in harvesting so um, obviously if I'm harvesting this silver ore vein I want to get some silver ore uh, I can set this to the minimum number of silver ores I'm going to get and the maximum number of silver ores I'm going to get per success so for this example I only want one ore every time I'm successful so I'm just going to type one and one uh, whenever you're using a harvesting type trade skill you have to have a tool the player has to have some kind of tool if they're skinning they need a skinning knife if they're mining they need some kind of pickaxe kind of thing each tool will have a set number of charges and every time that a player makes an attempt to harvest something it takes away a charge and when that thing hits zero charges it breaks and they have to go get themselves a new tool if this is a particularly difficult or hard substance that they want to harvest we can actually increase the value of how much damage is done to their tool whenever they use it so if this was like a diamond uh, rock or something that they were trying to I can say tool damage is like three so every time they use it they lose three charges off their off their tool so for this example we're going to leave this blank uh, minimum quantity fail item now whenever a player is successful in mining their silver ore vein they're going to get a piece of ore however when they fail normally by default they don't get anything but we can optionally put in an item that they can get um, when they fail and we're going to do that for this example we're actually going to say that if a player fails they're going to have a chance to get at least one and of course maximum one and we're going to say 25 percent chance Oops. 25% chance of getting a failure type item 
So they're not going to get a piece of silver ore. They're going to get something else. So we'll we'll show you what that's going to be in a minute. Uh, bonus 